Hello everyone, your favorite rational robot here, R4R. Welcome to my channel. Today's reason is Herod kills infant children. In Matthew 2, 13-23, the author claims that Herod authorized the murder of all infant children up to the age of two in Bethlehem and the surrounding districts as a means of ensuring that the Christ child would die. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeareth to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night, and departed into Egypt, and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, out of Egypt I have I called my son. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wroth, and sent forth, and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem, and in all the coasts thereof, from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet, saying, In Ramah was there a voice heard, lamentation and weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children, and would not be comforted, because they are not. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeareth in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and go into the land of Israel, for they are dead which sought the young child's life. And he arose and took the young child and his mother and came into the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus did reign in Judea in the room of his father Herod, he was afraid to go thither. Notwithstanding, being warned of God in a dream, he turned aside into the parts of Galilee. And he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets. He shall be called a Nazarene. There are many reasons to conclude that this is a fictional story. First, it is only documented in the Gospel of Matthew and left out of the other three Gospels. An event as heinous and memorable as this most certainly would not have escaped the attention of the writers of the other Gospels. Second, Josephus, who was tireless in his criticisms of Herod the Great, would almost certainly have documented what have been this tyrant's most barbaric crime though he made no mention of it. Third, it's apparent that the author of Matthew was fabricating a story to add fulfillment to passages in the Old Testament books of Hosea and Jeremiah, and to mirror a similar apocryphal event in Exodus where Pharaoh kills the Hebrew firstborn at the birth of Moses. More reasons for a reason to come, so keep watching and remember to please like and subscribe. Peace.